Hey guys. Uh, this is from tonight. Fresh video. Uh, I'm gonna let two or three or maybe even four racks run together in one video. So there's a good chance that this heater is gonna come on, and when it comes on, it kind of muffles uh, everything. So if it comes on. I'm gonna pause because this is probably gonna be a longer video than most. Most of mine hang around ten minutes. This one's gonna be a couple minutes longer. Uh, if I remember right, which was only a couple hours ago, um, I was drawing a lot tonight, and I was getting on the line a lot. Um, when I move out of the way here, I'll show you what I mean. If you watch the video, uh, number one secret, um, you'll see how I explain getting on the line and playing pool on the line to increase your margin of error. Um, I do that a lot, but I'm mixing it all up. I'm also playing a center table strategy, depending on the situation in the shot. And again, you'll see what I mean. So let's let's start rolling here. Um, if you can see where the three is, um, I need to draw back on this too because the only pocket I have for it is right here. Um, but I want an angle to come out on it to get on this three to go to this rail and to come back and get on the line of aim for the four to get to the five. Um, at least to the five ball, I determine my strategy before I shoot the one ball. Most of the time. So this is just a basic uh, straight back draw shot. But it's this, it's this angle on the three that I'm, I'm concerned about. I need a slight angle and I'm a little bit worried about hitting this seven ball, so I need to come up on top of the seven ball in a, in a long angle to bounce off and get the natural angle on the four ball. So again, that was a draw shot, and this is a draw shot too, although it doesn't come back. It Well, it comes back a little bit, but it pushes out, and I want to get somewhere around the center of the table for this three ball. I don't want to get straight in on the three ball because I don't want to draw back and be crossing the, the line on the four. You don't want to cross the line. You want to work on the line. And here, as it bounces off, that rail right there. If, if I had stopped right there on the rail, I'd still be on the line. If I went down longer, I'd still be on the line. So you have all this to screw up on. <laughs> and this it looks like a bounce to the rail. I don't like my stroke on that. And um, I kind of miss hit it because th that bottom rail there has it has live spots and it has dead spots, and I keep mixing them up. So I thought it would bounce a little bit higher than that. I'm still fine, but you know, I'm a little picky when it comes to see how soft I had to hit that five, and that's because I didn't want to go over there. Um, I still need. To stay on that line for that six and this is I have an angle here and I know with this camera angle it's hard to tell but it's to have a little bit of a cut here not much but drawing it off the six puts me on the exact line I need to be for the seven to get to the eight so you can see how I'm still playing this line then I'll be playing the line on the seven. You see, if I went down here, I'd still be fine on the seven. If I stopped up here, I'd still be fine on the seven. This is the correct way to play nine ball.
And there we had a little glitch in the electric system. Um, this room here is a motion, motion detector. As long as somebody's moving, the lights will stay on. And so I, don't, I was moving. I don't know why they went out, but they did. And it's just a little glitch. Here comes that heater. Um, I'm going to pause it right here. Let me get in frame here. You see how it muffles it? I don't know if you can hear that. And I think it's just because one of the vents is actually blowing onto the microphone on the computer. Anyway, we're pausing right there, but we will be back. All right, the heater finally kicked off. My cat six pack has joined us. Say hi. Um, this shot here on this A is a thin cut, um, which means nothing's going to stop the momentum of the cue ball. Okay, so it gets a little touchy here. Nothing's going to send it down table. It's going to it's going to bounce straight back up but it's easy to hit this too hard and wind up over here on a tough shot on the nine um you can put right hand english on this um it's gonna throw the object ball a little bit but i don't see any reason to try to get closer to the nine it's not it's not that long of a shot um if you don't want to let up on your stroke and you're not good at touchy soft shots you can go two rails here i wouldn't do any of that i wouldn't worry i would i would focus on shooting it easy and just making the eight ball and just bouncing off this rail and, and getting straight in on the nine or even if you have a slight cut <coughs> even if you have a slight cut it's no big deal so let's see how i do this I didn't like how I got down. See, I got down on the wrong line of aim. So I had to stand back up and get down on the correct line of aim. And that's it. Just bounce off that round. No big deal. Just make the damn ball. Just focus on making that ball on that shot. I played good that game. I played good all night. Yeah, and I beat, um, I was having problems with a very good local player. You remember contender phobia issue? Uh, well, I, I put him on the bus tonight. I just, I just gave him a whooping. Um, he'll be back. He'll be back Thursday to play some more. That's, that's what I like about him. His name's Gary. He, he plays good. And, uh, if you let up on him, he's, he's, he's gonna, He's going to walk all over you. So I reversed the tables, and I got in that frame of mind. If you let up on me, I'm going to put you on the bus. And he did a little bit, and it just instilled confidence, and it was time to uh, open up a little bit and play the way I'm, I'm capable of playing. So I, I played really good all night. I put a couple of four packs on him. And it felt good. That's where my cat's name comes from. His name is Six Pack. And the best pool I ever played in my life was uh, around a Six Pack on Knox at Knoxville Billiards Club many, many years ago on a guy named Joe Finley on a nine foot table. And I, uh, yeah, that was with defined greatness for me. I thought I was, I thought I had arrived. You know. And, that, and that's that's where he is. And he's not named after beer. I think I explained this in one of my videos. And he has six stripes on his tail, but he's not named after his own stripes. Okay, on this, uh, on this, usually I break really, really hard, and I'm known for doing that. Um, but I'm using the cut break on this on this break. Um, so what I want is the cue ball to bounce off the one and come back up table on this side while the one is being pushed up on that side. 
um, sometimes they'll cross and sometimes they'll get mixed up. It all depends on how well you hit them. So let's see what happens on this break. I stayed down on that break. You see how the one comes up and, and the cue ball comes off this rail and goes over there. Well, the problem here um, was the cue ball came down a little bit too long, too low. I want to stay up a little bit on this side. <coughs> so I have a problem here with it. I, this is an easy bank. I can make this in my sleep. And the cue ball is coming off a position to get on that line of aim for that two balls, but it's not really getting on the two ball. It, it, it is. I need an angle on the two ball, but I think I wind up getting too much of an angle, if I remember correctly here. Oh, that heater's coming on already. And it goes, it stays on forever. It's, it's a cold night, and that's why it keeps kicking on. So I'm going to have to pause it again right here. I will be right back. All right, let's, uh, let's just shoot this one and get to the two before I start yakking again. I came up on, I wanted to get straight in right there. Of course, I'm crossing the line of aim, and I came up short a couple inches. Um, so now I have a problem with shooting this two ball in this corner. Um, I don't want to disrupt any of these balls. I don't want to hit them, but I have this angle. Um, the natural angle is going straight in between the, between the nine, and it's probably going to hit the three. So I'm going to have to juice this with some bottom, a lot of bottom. And a little bit of left-hand English to bounce off this rail and come back a little bit on this three. The last thing you want to do is hit a ball after you've already developed a strategy and you already see the pattern and you already know your lines. You don't want to disrupt anything in that strategy. <laughs> so if you can help it, you know, once you develop your plan, sometimes you have to, but... Um, if you can, if you can help it, don't hit any balls. Don't disrupt anything. Come on, John, shoot this ball. Bottom, bottom here. And I'm a little bit worried about it that the bottom's not going to take in time. This cue ball, you're going to see this cue ball bend. And that's what you want. And now the strategy for the for the four bow is to get a spot where I can roll all the way down table and come back on this side of the five. We don't want to get on that side of the five. But that's going to make too much of a drastic cut. And the cue ball is going to go down table when I try to get on the six. So we have to get on this side of the five ball. So at this point, I'm figuring out exactly how to get on this line. So I can go down to this rail and bounce back up on the six. That's what I'm looking at right there. That's the line. That's my margin of error right here. So you got to stroke this ball to get it all the way back up tape. There's no doubt about it. Stay down. Keep a straight stroke. Relax. Take a deep breath and shoot it like you know you can shoot. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm drawing this ball. Okay. Never mind about going all the way down table. I drew it, and which is a much better way to do it because I don't have, I'm not traveling all this distance. So I think I got this game mixed up with a very similar shot in another game. <laughs> it's it's going to happen sometimes. I play a lot of pool. I got a bunch of videos from tonight, and they just keep running together. A bunch of them. I did a lot of recording tonight. Until my opponent showed up, and then I... Uh, Turn the recorder off.
So this is just a, you know, try to get straight in on the 7, but I bounced a little too high. Hit a little too hard, but it's, it's a natural angle to come back on the side of the 9. Stay cool, stay calm. The 8 ball went on the break, and I didn't spot it. I forgot. And here comes the heater, and there goes another video. Thank you guys for watching. A lot came up. Um, a lot comes up in every video. I hope you learned something. Um, I hope your game is improving. Um, that's the agenda. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please do it. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. Um, there's plenty more coming.